welcome to 49ers in 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I am Rob Stats Guerrera. Today is Tuesday, January 30th, 2024. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. We'll get to Kyle Shanahan's conference call in a minute, but first we begin every show as we always do with the injury report. Luckily for the 49ers, it's still pretty short. Only two names on it. George Kittle has a toe injury and Ambry Thomas is dealing with an ankle. Kyle Shanahan said both are day to day. And of course, both will have plenty of time to rest up. The team is going to take the next couple of days off before practicing Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That means the game plan is going to primarily be installed this week. They are going to install it before they leave for Vegas so that once they get there, they can tweak it. They can review it. But the main learning is going to take place this week. By the way, Andy Reid of the Chiefs is doing the same thing. And the Niners, of course, will fly out Sunday to Vegas, which coincidentally is the same way I'll be flying Sunday to Vegas. All the Super Bowl tickets and all that stuff is going to be done this week as well. So the players will not have any distractions. That is obviously a very good thing. Now, let's go right to the conference call with Kyle Shanahan. Kyle, does having two straight come from behind wins help this team going forward? I always think when you go through stuff like this, it hardens you and prepares you for any situation. I mean, you want to be able to go through tons of games and be able to win games any way possible. And I always feel we're capable of winning a game any way possible, but just hasn't gone out, gone that way this year. Totally. We've been able to win a bunch of games uh, pretty easily where the, um, that fourth quarter isn't so stressful. And, and the ones that we lost, um, usually you could see that happening earlier before that too. So to get in some games like this, um, it's just good experience for our players and to go through it and um, to make sure to see how important it is to go through all four quarters, win or lose that you're never out of it. There are different kinds of good teams. There are good teams like the Niners were early this year when they were just smashing people and dominating everybody. But there are also good teams that know how to manage emotions, manage situations and play the game the right way to win the close ones. And maybe the 49ers are sort of morphing into that kind of team which frankly, now is the best time to do that because chances are you're not going to blow out a team in the Super Bowl. Last one for you, Shanahan. We saw a lot of runs to the outside have success in this game and in the Packers playoff game as well. Was there something they all had in common that was giving the 49ers defense problems? We haven't done very well has been the common theme on them, but people are going to get the edge when they block down on the defensive end. Uh, I thought there was a couple ones. I mean, I thought we did better with the crack tosses. There was a reverse yesterday on the fourth play of the game, one that we do a lot, the one that we call dope. That's a really tough reverse to stop. They pull a guard, they block two people down, which will get the edge. You will pin the DN, which they got with Bosa. Um, they'll block down on the next guy, and then they have a guy kick out. And then you need pursuit on the field. And that, that play was disappointing to me because I thought our pursuit was as bad as it's been all year. On both the two long runs, we did get the edge, not with a defensive end because they blocked down on him, but we get it with the next guy to turn it back. And when he turned it back, our pursuit wasn't there. And um, that was the biggest disappointing thing about both those touchdown runs. The pursuit had better improve because you cannot afford to go down 17 points to Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Tuesday, NBC Sports Bay Area caught up with Steve Wilkes, who was pretty confident at halftime of the game against the Lions, exactly what the 49ers needed to change on defense in order to slow Detroit down. Obviously, it worked, but the quotes are actually very interesting. If you want to read them, just click the link in the description of this episode. One thing to watch, you know what I'm going to say. JT O'Sullivan's Brock Purdy breakdown. It is up from the championship game. It is over an hour long. If you want to dive into that sort of thing, it is absolutely awesome. I promise you it will make you a better, smarter fan. One thing you may have missed, the Chiefs are dealing with some injuries. They are right now considerably less healthy than the 49ers. They're going to be missing Charles Amenahu, former Niner, who tore his ACL against the Baltimore Ravens. That's obviously crushing news. And all-pro guard Joe Thune is a long shot to return for the playoffs with a pectoral injury. Doctors don't know if it's a strain or a total tear, but whatever. The news is he's probably not going to be back. That's a big blow to the Chiefs' offensive line. That's a wrap on today's 49ers and 5. Please rate, review, and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you click the little bell, you'll get notified every time we go live. 
which is every single weekday for you. So it's a great time to jump in, subscribe to the channel, hop on the bandwagon. I promise you, we will keep earning your time and we will be in Las Vegas next week reporting live from the Super Bowl. So hop on in. Today, it's going to be Steph Sanchez and Jason Aponte in Bully Ball. That's going to start 8 a.m. Pacific time, nice and early for you. Please join us for that. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. We'll talk later today.